Hey guys, Team Trekyards here. I'm Captain Foley. I'm Connor Combs. And I can see you because you're watching me through a window. Oh my god. I know, it's amazing. Oh. But anyway, we are here today to talk about Discovery and the Discovery trailer this... and break it down, analyze it, rip it apart, break it up into little molecules and examine each and every one of them in different videos. And today we're going to be looking at something that's kind of irksome to both of us. Um, yes. Windows as view screens. Yes. Now, you could argue this is the smallest detail to look at, but we here at Trek Yards are a Star Trek channel, and we're here to analyze things. Things that either are important to the universe, important to the fans, or important just in design. And so, yes, to those of you that aren't huge Star Trek fans, or even fans of Trek tech, I'm not sure why I'm on Trek Yards then, this might seem small, but actually in the universe, this is an interesting debate. So, literally, they show a window, we can, we can make a whole video about it. So, Stuart, we're going to go through the evolution of what we know as the window view screen, and then compare them in time order and see if, indeed, as we always ask the question, is Discovery a reboot, a visual reboot, the JJ-verse, Calvin Timeline, Prime, or something in between, or something of a meld? So, Stuart, let's go through. Well, the first one is from the Franklin. This is one of the earlier ships in Star Trek that uh, we've seen, and uh, the first four, four ship, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And uh, it obviously has a window on the bridge. Which, yes. there you go. Let the sunlight shine through. Yes. Now, so the controversy here is that we see it in Beyond, which is in the Kelvin timeline, but this was the first Warp 4 ship, and yes, it was refitted post-Federation, which is after NX-01, but the, you know, the, the look is so strange. This could either be slightly after NX-01, they add the window, or just part of the original design, because it's quite a change to either add or take away. So we're going to assume this is enough, you know, based on the original version. So it's got window, the next picture shows it as a full-on heads-up display. It's got, it, it's a window, but also it has everything that goes on, and it's very advanced. So if this is the first one, and even if it's just after the NX-01, this is still very advanced mm -hmm. display. Yeah, and uh, th you got green overlays here yes. uh, for your, your, your display, your heads-up display. Looks great, but mm. again, it's, it's projected on a window, so... Yes take that for what it is. Moving to the next one, this is actually from Enterprise. Now, wait, the bridge is facing backwards? No! <laughs> um, this is actually a view screen. Yes. And, uh, of course, with the view screen, you can look in any direction. This was not a window in the NX-01. Um, mm -hmm. As you can see, the outer bridge dome does not have a window. So, oh. as yes. with the prime, prime timeline ships, we tend yes. to have no windows. We have view screens. Even yes. in the cage, the little black box outside of the bridge was not a window. It's a sensor suite. Although in researching this, they removed that in the remastered version. So no longer canon. They did. So not even a discussion anymore. So yeah, the NX-01, a couple of years after Franklin, you could argue it's the first exploration ship, faster warp, longer missions, you can't have a window because it's unsafe and silly. That's absolutely fine. Hey, as you see, very simple. It's a box. There's no visual data displayed. I don't think it ever is because they've got monitors for that. They have mm. all the monitors. Yes, you could argue less advanced, but this is what this follows. Only in the motion picture did they have a, things displayed, but they weren't on a live image. They were a computer display. But we can assume that they could do that. Because yes. well, it's they a can view screen, so they can do pretty much anything. You can assume they should all be able to do it. They just don't. That's yes. one of the strange questions. Um, but yeah, so this is yeah. the Enterprise era. Let's skip a whole load of time to the Kelvin and again, this is when another one of those questions happens of, is it really Prime? This is clearly the J.J. Mm. Abrams rebooted Star Trek. But in the technical continuity, this is a canon Prime timeline ship. Then the universe diverged. Well, there's evidence they diverged before that. Whichever. As you can mm. see, it's back to a window, Stuart. And in fact, th three windows. I was just going to say, not just one window, but three windows. Uh, which is an interesting take on it. I wouldn't have a problem so much if the two side windows were windows, but the front one was still a view screen. Oh, that's interesting. That could be cool, but, actually. But, huh. yeah. Anyway, you see lots of displays here as well. You can see what your alert status is and everything on there. Yeah. And different information on every window. That's really cool. Um, lots yeah. of lots of help for the captain there. So, and don't the have first, a problem with that so much. And you can see the bottom of the saucer on the middle window, but you're right, it turns into a view screen as well. So mm -hmm. I guess you could argue it's more efficient than a view screen because it can be both window and view screen. But but in, well, the, in, in space, with the distances you're talking about, a window is pretty much useless because most ships would be thousands of kilometers away. 
They're not yeah, going to be right, right up to you every time. I'm and sorry. if you're traveling, I mean, most of the time you're ever going to spend in a starship is at warp, going between places. So if the window is just warp streams all the time. And dead bugs. And <laughs> warp bugs. <laughs> oh, that's what the deflector's for. Sorry. It's too hurt. Uh, Jeez. But as you, yeah, obviously this follows on from the Franklin. The, the, the reboot universe has all the displays. I mean, it looks great, but very, very, very advanced. But let's skip to a few years later. Uh, to the next ship is the Cage Era. Yes. With a very NX01 style, simple view screen. 1960s, 50s television shaped view screen. Mm -hmm. Not widescreen, you know. Not widescreen. Just, you know, uh, so there's that. I mean, it's a product of its time, obviously. But it is a view screen, clearly. It's not a window. Yes, we should shimmer and do things that you know, a real screen couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we've got Discovery, the one we're here to talk about specifically. Yes. Um, this one is a window. <laughs> yes. Um, and again, you can see the similarities to the Kelvin that we just looked at a moment ago. Yes. You've got uh, different overlays and stuff on there as well. Only this time, instead of the Franklin's green overlays, now they're blue. Which, Although you made you made a wonderful point saying the Kelvin is probably the color because it's a red alert. Everything goes red, so we don't know what the, the original color is because it's always a red alert in yes. the show. So we'll talk about the comparison in a moment. But let's uh, well let's just show you clearly a window. This next shot proves it's a window. It's three big windows. So again, linking to the Kelvin uh, there. Mm -hmm. But the next real shot is TOS is ten years in advancement of. The three big windows on the bottom exposed is now a view screen on the top of the bridge. Several you know meters of things between you and space. It's a view screen, and it's got some monetary things either side, and it's nice and widescreen, and it's. I was just gonna say yeah, it's updated to widescreen now. And a <laughs> technical awesome. beep, 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 very advanced. You need the beep, 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 beep. Well, that shows you what your alert status is. How does it? Dif the different speeds represent different things for Did the camera. Not know that. Yes. Did not know that. Plus, plus he, he doesn't have the red alert thing on the top. He's got it over to his left. It says condition alert when yep. they're at alert. So. Uh, and it's so advanced, you have to change the bulb. It's all automatic. It's true. It's true. Next up, we've got the motion picture, but obviously a view screen. Just an evolution of the TOS tech. And but anamorphic now. Yes. Which is awesome. Yes. Double yes. widescreen. Exactly. But uh, we're not going to dwell, are we? Exactly. No, no. We need to get into the chart, because I love the charts that you've done for yes. these episodes. These are awesome. Okay. Hmm... What do you think? Obviously, it's a little bit hard to see, but obviously you've got you know one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> it's that's definitely interesting. Um, yep. And again, we're putting the information out here for you guys to make your own judgments. This is the prime timeline, as it's technically called, and the timelines of the, you know, the things in their order. This is what it comes down as. What do you think, Stuart? Well, I was going to say, you know, it could depend on the class of ship. Um, only, like, heavy cruisers and stuff should be warranted a view screen. Everyone else is small enough to have a window, but then I thought, wait a minute, no, because the Enterprise has a view screen, or has a window, sorry, in uh, JJ-verse, and it's a heavy cruiser. And also the Kelvin's, like, eight times the size of the Connie, so that would yes. also ruin that. But, uh, yeah, this... Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, as much as I like... The idea of a window uh, with overlays and things, I mean, it's practical. You can still zoom in. You can still do it. You can even make it opaque so you can have something else there as Which well. Which they do almost in the, you know, they, they look at a sun in the Kelvin and they turn on the, the shields. Yeah. The shield effect and it becomes visible, which is awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, I like the idea. I don't think it fits with Star Trek per se. Um, no, that's I not really... that it shouldn't have work in the future, but look at the chart. Oh, a post uh, Voyager or Star Trek Ooh. Online era ship. I can really see this, like a whole clear bridge dome. You know, everything is clear wow. if you want it to be. That'd be cool. But I can't see it. I, I've just, with the way I grew up with Star Trek, it's a view screen. It's not a window. And that's yes. been a big issue for a lot of people with the JJ-verse. It's also a 3D thing. So you can walk up to it and it's perspective. So it's better than a window because it's got all the, you know, it's got all the abilities of a window, the 3D nature, but also... It's got the armor, it's got the hull in between you and space, you know, not a single bullet, you know, or the radiation of the sun is not physically hitting the glass. 
it's hitting armor designed to absorb it with completely safe people and completely safe glass, you know? And for mm -hmm. an alien race that doesn't understand where the bridge is, there's not a big window you can zoom in and say, hey, and they can't lip read you as they do with HAL. So multiple disadvantages of a window. Multiple. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, and the old argument remains, and this has been brought up many times when we're looking at new iterations of Star Trek, yes. is it's not the 1960s anymore. We need to update this tech to make it look modern. Uh, back then, it was unheard of to have a transparency that could have overlays on it. You know, they had TVs. That's what they mm -hmm. used. That's what they went with. And it just evolved. Yep. Nowadays, that technology is our future. A see-through mm -hmm. transparency that can display anything. Uh, so it's a nice advancement that way, and I don't have a problem with that. But when you're trying to link into prime Star Trek that has an established a a aesthetic and a, a look and a functionality and a history, you need to tie into that and not so much step out of the box like they have been. I understand it looks cool and it's great. Use it on an, an alien ship. Don't use it on mm. the, the Starfleet ships that we're used to. And it certainly makes more sense in terms of modern day evolution. But as Doug Drexler says, you know, Star Trek isn't just a television show. It is a period, period yes. drama. Yes. Yeah. Would you go back to the Renaissance and you, or, or would you go back to a pirate movie? You don't like their guns, give them P90s or MP5s or Berettas because it's more exciting. You know, rather than shooting one bullet, they can shoot 60. No, because it's a period drama. You basically, yeah. you're, you're changing the universe. You're changing the world. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Same thing. Star Trek is a period piece. And in this timeline, honestly, Stuart, when I made this, it revealed something really interesting. If you look at this, and again, each one of our videos shows something different, and there's different conclusions reached. Mm -hmm. In the canonical, or at least the, 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 the TV people, the TV side of things, where they want to keep things consistent, sort of, the mm -hmm. NX-01, the bottom row, the NX-01, the cage, the Connie, perfectly plausible evolution. Natural, undeniable, you know, rectangles, ovals, and then just very separate tech, but more bleepy things. Perfect. Second row up, also prime, but all based on newer post-2009 stuff. And it's completely consistent, and doesn't at all fit with the TV stuff, which shows that the JJ verse altered for their own works. Mm -hmm. They couldn't resist doing that for the Franklin because they wanted to make it modern, even though it shouldn't have been. And now Discovery, pretty plainly obvious it links to that style the kelvin timeline the reboot and the modern style it this is the most one of the most obvious ones we've got i think to show yeah. it's not it's not linking to canon prime it's linking to the jj verse or at least that style which raises the question that yes. we've been asking in all of these videos yep do we think this aspect of the trailer of discovery is prime timeline soft reboot visual reboot jj verse what are we looking at? Or sorry, Kelvin timeline. Sorry. Yes. Um, this one, I'm going to have to outright say it's obviously Kelvin timeline. Yeah, absolutely. This 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 is is one tick in the box of this show is a JJ verse. Um, you know, post. I mean, it looks even looks more advanced. Looks it looks more refined than the Kelvin design, which is you know like third. Well, you can see it's twenty something years. You know, it, this looks like a. I mean, blue. I mean, cool blue is always more advanced. It feels more advanced. So this is just the, you know, the operating system seven point eight of of you know of that verse. Yeah, this is this is this is the JJ verse aesthetic, and that is that, one that of the. Being, that being said about the cool blue, though, there is a picture of the, uh, just with well, the Shinzao whatever uh, view screen window, with the red alert status where everything turns red. Mm, true. True. So much like the Kelvin there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. uh, but clear visual continuity and yeah, like yeah, this is definitely this is not soft reboot. This is this is Kelvin timeline. Well, guys, we're going to hear your thoughts as always. Please let us know yep. in the comments below what you guys think about the view screen technology, what you like, what you don't like, and uh, if you want to continue viewing us on your view screen or your window, if you have a really cool window, that'd be awesome. But mm. you can help us out and you can view us on a regular basis if you go to Patreon. Uh, yep. There's a link in the description, or just go to uh, Patreon slash Trekyards. Donate on a monthly basis helps us out, because we do a lot of great stuff like this, breakdowns, a lot of discovery to come, so lots to yes. look forward to. And it does take time. So, Or if you have want to make a one-time donation, head on over to Trekyards.com, click the Donate button, and uh, shoot us uh, some money if you can. If you can't, though, Samuel has some options for you. 
Yeah, I mean, you can you can see that we've really broken down discovery and taken those smallest details that actually have a long history and are more complicated than you think. We put this research in, we put these pictures in, so you didn't have to, so you can enjoy. So if you don't have the money, though, to support us financially, just share this video where you think Trek fans and Discovery fans, or haters even, would enjoy it and learn from our research because we're an analytic, we're an analytic channel. We want to learn, develop, and... and pull pieces together, you know, those amazing detective shows where they've got that board, all the string is everywhere. We're, we're doing that with Discovery. Yes. Um, so enjoy, and tune in next time for another great episode, we hope. So until next time, guys, here's Captain Stuart Foley. I am, and he is Commander Samuel Cockings. Bye, guys. See you in the future. <laughs>